What is up everyone and welcome back to an episode of BFS, the series that I completely forgot about for two or three years. Uh, Brian fixes shit. Today I'm going to be fixing my car doors because right now they sound terrible when I close them and it makes my car's value seem, I don't know, at least half of what it actually is. So here's my car. Bought it a few months ago. It's a nice 2012 Subaru Legacy. Only issue is both the front doors, when you close them, sound like this. Sounds absolutely terrible. I got the same thing on the passenger side. Sounds terrible. So what I've got here is some sound editing material, just an adhesive mat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the side panel of my door, stick it on the inside of the skin, and hopefully that should make it sound more like a car door and less like you're smacking a piece of sheet metal. First I need to take off this interior door panel. There seems to be screws here, here. I think there might be one under here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these off and take out the screws. All right, I've now exposed the two screws there. And this doesn't seem to have a screw under it, but it looks like I did need to take it off. All right, now I've got all the clips off. So, actually, there we go, there's all the clips. Now I should be able to lift this up. There we go. Now if you look in here, just gotta disconnect all the wires so I can get in and get to the frame itself. But now I'm gonna have to remove this plastic piece and I'm gonna try and do it in a way that I can put it back afterwards because this this is black stuff, it's kind of like still gooey. So it's, I believe I can stick it back on after the fact. And then I need to get through these holes to stick my mats on the inside of the door. All right, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but you see those little foam pucks? Those are what is broken and is causing the door to sound terrible. So usually those foam pucks would dampen sound between the skin and the frame. But since they're broken, we got this weird vibration now. It just sounds lovely. All right, I have everything disconnected and I've exposed the interior. Now I just gotta cut this matting up. Let's take this and just cover the inside with this. So before I go start sticking stuff in here, I'm actually gonna clean out everything here with uh, just with denatured alcohol because it's what I have. I'm uh, just gonna go in with a rag, clean out any dust, so hopefully it sticks better and I don't have to take this back apart and reapply it someday. There's my first piece stuck in. You can already hear a bit of a difference. Here, if I tap on the door, it sounds a bit more solid now already with just one piece. And then I'm going in and rolling on it with this plastic roller to get it fully squished down. So then I'm gonna fill up the rest of this area. On this door, I have the particular problem of this cross piece here. You can hear I can pluck it like a string. So I'm gonna try and wedge some in the middle here and also I'm gonna line this inside of the, the U shape here with it too. And for the jump cut, here's the progress so far. I've got just some stuck on the outside, but here's the big one. I've got these two just stacks of the mat wedged in there. So now if you pluck this, it doesn't make any noise. And it's starting to sound like a normal door already. I'm gonna put a few more down here and down here, and I'll probably stick some in between this bar and this uh, the wall here. This bar is not an issue. It's a big structural bar, so that's not gonna vibrate. But just wedge it against the stiff bar. As a quick example of how much this is helping, this is the passenger door that I have not touched yet. If I tap on it, it sounds like a piece of sheet metal. Now if I go over to the driver's side door, which used to sound the same, it sounds nice and door-like. You can see how many times I've been tapping it from the dust. I just drove 2,400 miles in this thing, so. It's kind of dusty. I'll be washing it after this. But, as you can see, now I've gotten a lot more in there. I've also wedged some in between the main support bar and the skin. Got some down here. I think I'm gonna do one more piece down here. I might do a few others branching between this bar and the skin, and maybe put some between this bar here as well, just to be extra thorough about it, because I can. I'd rather not open this door up again. All right, so I have finished installing all of the matting. I've got it bridging the gap on these pillars. I've got it all the way back there on the bottom, bridging there across the pillars. There, I've got the two pieces wedged in there. I've got a big piece way down there. The piece isn't installed, installed quite as well because it's really hard to get my arm in there. But now you tap it. Hopefully you can hear that, but it sounds much more like a car door and less like a piece of sheet metal. So now it's time to put this thing back together and give it a test slam. So now I have the door fully reinstalled. Let's give it a test slam. For reference, here's what it sounded like before. 
and here's what it sounds like now. Nice and solid, like a normal car door. There we go. I didn't show me taking it apart, but here's the passenger side door. You can see I've done the same thing, just sticking it everywhere. I'll put a link to this in the description to where I got this stuff. It was pretty cheap. It was only like 20 bucks for the total amount I'm using, and I'm not even going to use it all. So pretty much done with this side. So let's close it up and do a slam test. All right, passenger door is now back together. I'm also doing a little windshield crack repair. Uh, you probably can't even see it right there and there. We'll see if that works. But passenger side door now sounds completely normal. We have a success. And back to the dock for the outro. Thanks for watching this quick little project. I'm trying to get some more out soon, but I've been busy with school and I'll be interning with NASA this summer. So hopefully I'll be able to get some kind of build video out of a real project out soon. If not, I've got some really cool stuff planned in the fall that I'll be making at my the shop that I work at at my university. Got some cool stuff planned, so make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.